The Dash Design 2.0 editing software for the CD Carbon digital dash displays isn't just another update. It's a completely new interface that makes everything way easier. From identifying and creating channels, custom designs, managing layouts and templates to setting alarms, logging rates and lap times, Dash Design 2.0 is organized to make both the setup and creative process quick, easy and fun. And right now, Dash Design is free to download. Coming up right now are the top 10 hottest new features in Dash Design 2.0. Drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> Starting off with number one, we have the simulator. Now, if you want to see what your layouts look in action, you can run them in the new simulator feature instead of having to upload them to the dash and start the vehicle. The simulator connects to AEM data analysis software and allows you to connect a log file to simulate channels on the dash. You simply click the play button in the simulator, connect dash design to AEM data, open up your log file in AEM data, Click play in your log file, and there you go. You are now in full simulation mode. This is brilliant, but I like this. Coming in at number two, we have the sensor library. We've added a bunch of sensors to the sensor library and made it easier to assign them to a channel. When you create a new channel, like the oil pressure channel we are making right now, you assign the input and then you open up the sensor library, select the sensor, and done! Now you'll only need to scale the sensor calibration if it's not in the sensor library. And this list will grow as we make more updates to Dash Design 2.0. That was awesome! <laughs> Coming in at number three, we have the new tabs format. If you use Dash Design 1.0, then you're going to love the new tabs format because it wasn't easy to navigate in the old software. Uh, yeah, we're sorry about that one. We've put all of the most common functions in the tabs across the top of the software so they're incredibly easy to access. The screens tab now allows you to click in between the layout screens and the left hand menu instead of having to move around all the tiled screens within the software window. The new main feature though is the ability to drag and drop gauges, needles, graphs, shapes, and more from the side menu in the tab. The channels tab puts all of your channels in one place in front of you, allowing you to select your channels and assign them to your layouts from a central location instead of having to scroll through a menu in a pop-up window. The alarms tab allows you to set up your alarms using the master channel list instead of having to click the setup menu, open the display menu and then scroll through the channels to create them, or to even just see which ones have been defined as warnings or alarms in the operations menu. Right now it is so much easier. The can tab not only puts all of the can channels in one easy to find location, but it also adds a graphical representation presentation to the CAN data to make it easier to identify and assign your channels. The logging again puts all your channels in one place, making it easy to select which channels you want to log and the rate at which you want to log them. The setup page takes all the detail work and puts it in one window. From this tab you can set your shift lights, brightness for the dash, and LEDs. The graphics tab keeps all of your graphic images in one location for easy access and allows you to preview them instead of having to open them to verify whether or not they're the ones that you want to use. You can also import new graphics from the tab, and unlike your iTunes account, you can delete what you don't want so you don't have to waste storage space. The final tab is for the simulator, and we know you'll be spending some time on this one once you create all of your cool new layouts. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. And I'm about to whoop your old ass, man, because I'm sick of playing games. At number four, we have the setup check. Dash Design 2.0 now lets you know if there are any setup errors before you ever upload your layouts to the dash. Now, when you open Dash Design, the setup check window at the bottom of the screen will alert you to any potential issues you may have, like a missing input, faults, or errors. What's really cool is that if you have a warning in the setup check window, for instance, this warning tells you that your boost gauge is missing an input. By double clicking the warning, Dash Design takes us to the layout and highlights it so we can assign the channel. At number five, we have the ability to group items for global changes. The new grouping feature in Dash Design 2.0 lets you select multiple items to make changes globally. Now you can select multiple items in a layout, group them, name them, and when you make changes, they'll happen globally across all of the grouped items. This makes it easier to change things like fonts, font sizes, colors, and speeds up the design process completely. At number six, we have the ability to set the unit preferences globally across all pages. Harness the power of the ruler icon to set unit preferences across all of your pages. Clicking the ruler icon opens up the unit preferences and lets you assign unit preferences for AFR, temperature, speed, and pressure. For instance, if you want everything to be in Celsius, you simply select Celsius. Click the auto apply to channels checkbox and the software takes care of the rest. There's also a presets button for standard and metric units that scales all of the units of your imported channels regardless of how they are imported, eliminating the need to create conversion channels. 
At number 7 we have the Screen Import feature. The Screen Import feature in Dash Design allows you to preview all of the screens from all of your layouts you place in a specified location on your computer and import them, instead of having to open layouts one at a time and see what's in them. We know that that one was a pain. We do recommend that you use a specific location to search though, as Dash Design 2.0 has an ability to search your entire computer for layouts and this can lead to the spinning wheel of death. <laughs> At number 8 we have the undo feature. Now if you move something on a screen and want to move it back, all you have to do is use the undo feature. This is located in the edit drop down menu and can be performed by pressing the control and Z key at the same time. This keeps you from having to save multiple layouts to revert back to if you moved something and weren't quite sure if you want to put it back exactly where you want it. Well that was easy. Yeah I guess it was. At number 9 we have the graphics library. The graphics library puts all of the graphics being used in your template in one place, so you don't have to search your computer to find them. From the graphics tab, you can access them all, including the icons. You can then add new graphics you want to use, as well as delete graphics you won't be using to reduce file sizes. Could we all just wrap it up and go home? And finally, at number 10, we have the streamlined OBD2 setup. Dash Design makes it incredibly easy to import and set up channels coming from the OBD2 port. This eliminates some of the guesswork with clear, easy to follow instructions while keeping you aware of what's happening. From the tools drop down menu, select Scan Vehicle OBD2, and a pop up window appears that will give you instructions to follow so your download is successful on the first try. Your dash will be plugged in for this process, and once you get a notification on the dash that the scan is complete, you reconnect your laptop to the dash to import the channels into Dash Design software. Once they're in the software, a list of available channels appears, which allows you to select which channels you want to use before you import them into your setup file. After you select your channels, a quick override to port 2 command tells the software to upload the channels, select replace to upload the new channels, and you're done. That was easy. We hope you like all of the new features in Dash Design 2.0. We'll be adding a bunch of tutorials, so if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to like this video too. Again, thank you for watching.